people do ask me if I am serious. Like a lady came up to me last night after the show. She said to me, she said, are you serious in private life? You know what I mean? And I said, uh, yes. <laughs> I did. You know, I said, because I read a lot of serious books. I mean, <laughs> I, you've got to be serious sometime, haven't you? Don't you agree? I agree. I mean, you could take a joke too far. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I've never heard you or ever seen you use blue material. A bit naughty sometimes, but never blue. Is, well, is I, that policy with you? Well, I don't even use naughty material. I don't know what you mean. What well, is... a, a, bit, a bit cheeky, if you like. I don't even use cheeky material. What do you mean, cheeky? Difficult to describe, really. It, it's the look on your well, face, you the, it, the raising you? of the eyebrow when you say a certain phrase that possibly anyone with a dirty mind might take as being... No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I never do cheeky or blue material. I love a blue joke. Mm. But I never do it on the stage. I don't even do it in nightclubs. Never do it in nightclubs either. Now, that is obviously on purpose. Well, I t shall I tell you the reason why? Mm. Because when I first, uh, when I used to do summer seasons, uh, we always made sure well, we had what they call a family show. In other words, the parents could bring their children in and then the, the boy or the girl didn't have to turn around and say to the father, what did he mean by that? Because there was nothing blue or suggestive, just clean humour. And you prove time and time again that that works. And when you walk on stage, people, it's maybe the, the look on your face, the way you walk, straight away people are laughing. But have you ever died a death on stage in front of an audience? Oh, yes, I have. Oh, yes. I, I won't tell you the name of the place, but I have died. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yes. And, uh, oh, dear, it's a terrible feeling to die a death, you know. And I was there for this, for a week. And they thought, there's a bad man there, six foot four, can't do a trick. They, they did realise I was burlesque in it. <laughs> and I thought, he can't do a trick. <laughs> the big fella, he should be done the mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I couldn't walk about in the daylight. I had a quick little theatre at night. <laughs> Even the night lady turned against me. I said, can I have a couple more teas? No, no more for you. I said, all right then. <laughs> you may feel this is a bit of a personal question. It's no, not, it's not about, about your personal life, but... I always think that anyone who appears in front of the public must have a fairly large ego. Now, you don't strike me as being a man that has an ego that needs to be fed. Am I wrong? I suppose, really, th there must be a certain amount of ego for every performer to go on the stage, really. I mean, but uh, I, I, I think... I really mean this. I think if you get that feeling that uh, here I am, you get that a cocky atmosphere, a cocky appearance, I think that is bad. You know, do, you, do you agree there? I do, yes. Mm. You know, because I think if you get a cocky attitude to yourself, I think it shows from the audience. They sense it more than you do. You know what I mean? Mm. So therefore, I, I never feel about it that way at all. I just go on and that's it, you know. <laughs>